Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're going to take a look at Ubuntu Budgie 21.10. This is a nightly build, so we may have some bugs that we have to worry about. But I just wanted to go ahead and take a brief look at it to show you what the Ubuntu Budgie project is doing. But before we get started, please don't forget to like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and at the end of the day, if you don't like me, you can always unsubscribe. If you want to follow me on my socials, maybe buy me a cup of coffee, or better yet, become a patron to the channel on Patreon, those links are in the description below. Ubuntu Budgie, when you download it, throw it on a USB or put it in a virtual machine, this is the screen you're met with. You get their welcome screen, which gives you an introduction, shows you some of the features, getting started, installation help. It's got an online store. There's a community link. Get involved. If you want to help with the development, you can do it right there. Or donate. If you like what they're doing with the project, zip on over, throw them a couple dollars and help them out a little bit. And then, of course, you've got their social links, their Facebook, their GitHub, Twitter, YouTube, and, of course, their IRC. I'm going to go ahead and close that. Like I said, sorry, Ubuntu 2110 has experienced an internal error. Send a problem report. I'm not going to send, so I'm going to close that out. We're going to zip on over to their webpage real quick, UbuntuBudgie.org. And here it is. Got a lot of information on it. Ubuntu Budgie, simplicity and elegance in one package. And it says, what's Ubuntu Budgie? It's community developed distribution, integrating the Budgie desktop with Ubuntu at its core. Coming from Mac, we've developed an applet that allows you to have hot corners function that you used while running OS 10. Want to use Exposé? Open specific app, no problem. Just put the mouse in the corner. You can get your weather, desktop management at its finest, small but useful. And then you go back up top, homepage, about us, downloads, donate, blog, team, opportunities, gallery, contact, support. Support's probably the most important. If you download Ubuntu Budgie and you decide you want to install it and you start having issues, don't forget their webpage. You come back to UbuntuBudgie.org, go to support, and you can go down here and there's plenty of questions or people having issues. You can come in here, find your question or submit a question and get it answered pretty expeditiously and get your problem fixed so you can move forward. We're going to close out of the web browser. You've got a dock at the bottom and then you've got a single panel up top. And if you notice up top, you've got a little arrow here. You can click the arrow. That brings up your notifications and your hidden applets, should there be any. You can switch back and forth between those. So we'll close that. You've got power. You've got volume, internet, notifications. You've got your places. You can click right there. It'll show you budgie, documents, downloads, music. Then you've got a hamburger menu. Just click on it. And this is a quick note. Text will be saved automatically while typing. So if you need to take a quick note, you can jump up here, click on that, and take a quick note. Then you have your workspaces. You can scroll up, down. You can add more if you want. See, there's three, four, five, six. You can add up to eight. We'll drop that back down to two. Then you've got your calendar right here in the middle, time and date settings, calendars. Then you can change your preferences, of course, show date, show seconds, use 24-hour time. I'm going to shut that off, and we'll just stick with regular time. And then you've got your budgie logo over here. Click on it and it opens up your applications. They're in grid mode right here. If you want, you can drop them down and change it over to where you have them split like this. We'll come back to that. What I wanna do is go down below. You see what you have on the dock. Budgie welcome screen, which we just saw a while ago. You can pop that up at any time if you need to get to any of these links. Then you've got software center. Let's open that up. It says welcome to software. You can browse the software, so let's go ahead and browse. Right off the bat, you get your editor's picks. You got things like GIMP, Blender, Emoji Picker. Then you got recent releases, recommended productivity applications. And then you've got recommended audio and video applications. And then you've got categories. Or better yet, you can go up and search. Just click on the search bar and put in something like Caden Live. And it'll bring up Caden Live. Now you've got two listed here. So let's click on the first one. And if you scroll down, it'll say right here, source is Ubuntu Impish Universe. So that's coming from the main repository. And then if you go back to the second one, I'm guessing it's going to be a snap. You come down, source is snapcrap.io. So you've got two versions. You can get it from the official repository or you can get it from snap. But that is their software center. So let's close out of that. Rhythm box to play your music. Of course, you've got LibreOffice Writer, 
files. Let's open up the files program. And if you want to make these a little bigger, you can come down here to your slider and just bump that up a little bit and it'll make your folders bigger if you want, or you can make them smaller. You can list them in a grid or you can list them in a list or a small grid list. So let's go back to the big grid. Over here, you have your usual suspect. They're shown in a folder form. You can break it down to where you do it in a tree view as opposed to folder. I'm going to go ahead and stick with folder because I think it looks better and it's easier to navigate. But it may be something you want to change and, and customize to the way you like it. But that is files. So let's go ahead and close out of that. And then Firefox, we've already seen. Go up to accessories. Accessories, you've got things like archive, budgie arm, pie calculator, catfish file search, menu editor, plank is the doc that is being used, games. 2048, Solitaire, Mahjong, Graphics, GSUM, Image Viewer, Drawing, LibreOffice, Draw, Internet, Firefox, Transmission, Thunderbird, Office, Calendar, LibreOffice Suite, Other, Science, Sound and Video, you got Celluloid, Cheese, System Tools, you got Additional Drivers, Budgie Discourse, Budgie Welcome, Live Patch, Software, Software Sources, we already looked at, System Monitor, let's see what we're using for resources. At present, I have three gigabytes of RAM issued to this machine. At rest with system monitor open, we're at 1.7 gigabytes of RAM used. Universal access and then utilities, system monitor screenshot. We already saw that. Let's look for settings. Budgie desktop settings. Let's open that up. Now you've got a style. You've got your widgets, your icons, cursors, if you want to set it on a dark theme, which we're already on a dark theme, I'm going to go ahead and leave that. Desktop, if you don't want desktop icons, just flip that off. That icon disappears. Fonts, you've got Noto Sans Bold as your picked font. Now, if you want to change this, let's click on that. Go down here and pick whatever font you want. If you want to up that a little bit, let's up it to 13 and select. You can change the size of the fonts or you can text scale down here. Just click up on that and everything will scale up. Windows, top panel. Now your top panel up here, these are your applets. If you want to add new applets to that, you can come down here and find new applets that you want. Pick them out, click add it. It'll come up here and be involved. Or you can create a new panel. And then your auto start. Genome software and then Plank. These are programs that auto start when you boot your system up. Now, if for some reason you download an application and you find out it's starting itself without asking permission, you can come over here into the desktop settings, zip on down to auto start, and all you got to do is hit the negative and it'll take it off of auto start. So let's close out of that. Let's go back over. I want to look at settings again. Let's pull up just regular settings. And then over here, you've got your network. You've got Bluetooth. You've got background. And these are your pictures in the background. You get some decent looking wallpapers out of the box. But with this being a beta, slash daily build you're going to probably get a lot more wallpapers when it's officially released i'm going to go ahead and just change it to change it let's pick that one and it changed it that's a good looking wallpaper notifications search applications you can come in and set up your online accounts if you want to your microsoft your google's your four squares microsoft exchange and then you've got sound power displays mouse and trackpad keyboard and then about it's hardware model kimu Standard, which means I'm running in a virtual 2.9 gigabytes, AMD Ryzen 5, graphics, disk capacity, Ubuntu Impish Injury, development branch, OS type 64-bit, GNOME version 40.4, windowing system X11, and then virtualization KVM, and then whatever software updates you might have. That's a quick overview of Ubuntu Budgie and what we can expect with the upcoming release of 21.10. Let me know what you think about it. Is it something you might download, throw it on a USB, put it in a virtual machine or gnome boxes and give it a test drive? Let me know in the comments below. Before you go today, do me a favor. Please like, subscribe or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything. And if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you want to follow me on my socials, maybe buy me a cup of coffee or better yet, become a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Those links are in the description below. Thank you for watching my video. And I will see you in the next video.